um, we're about to start our next little Kununara adventure and head out on Lake Argyle for a couple of nights. Uh, so pretty excited about that and this time to Kentra. Well, we've uh, come out to the middle of Lake Argyle-ish, um, out past the hummocks. Um, you can see behind us that you can't really tell the difference between the water and the uh, sky there. It's pretty stunning. It's total glass out, out, out here. It's so still. There's not a breath of wind and it's so quiet. It's just magic. Yeah, we're loving it. facts and figures. Um, so the dam was built in the 1970s. Uh, it's got about 10 or over 10,000 gigalitres of That's water a lot in of it. Water. A lot of water. Um, second largest man-made freshwater storage in Australia um, and over 18,000, sorry 18 times Sydney Harbour. Um, but if it floods to its full capacity, it'll actually be over 70 times Sydney wow. Harbour. So That's also a lot of water. Yeah, pretty bloody massive. Um, and something like 786 uh, square kilometres uh, covered off by the lake. So it's a pretty phenomenal uh, area out here. It's mm. used to do all of the irrigation for the Ord River area um, and all of the food growing region that is yeah, up here. It's a huge agricultural area around here, mainly because of the availability of all this water. Yeah, so... When we were canoeing down the Ord the other day, actually, you could see all the pumping stations pulling water out of the river and um, yeah. using that for irrigation. Yeah, so, but yeah, just really loving our time out here. We've got to go and find ourselves a camping spot, um, which might be a little bit challenging. A lot of the islands out here are mountain tops um, so they don't really have beaches on them but we're gonna have a bit more of an explore and see what we can find. Check out this monster silver cobbler or catfish as they're known. Um, he's dead obviously but I had no idea they grew this big. That is huge. Dude is very interested in it too. How's that for a spider web? Pretty, pretty gross actually. That is hands down the scariest goddamn spider web I've ever seen. You wouldn't want to walk into that accidentally and that guy up, that, that tree up behind as well. This island is just full of spider webs and let me go over here. That tree up on the hill there has a giant bird's nest in it. We might go check it out and see what's in there. Spider Island. This is the bird's nest. Um, the spiders have gotten into this one too. Check out all the fish frames up there. And the saddest thing, poor old birdie's dead. He looks like an eagle of some sort. And he has for some reason died. Yeah, Poor fella. Sad. We heard yesterday about a um, eagle that brought a bait back to its nest and fed it to its babies and the babies died so I hope this isn't something similar. But yeah, super sad. This is hands down the scariest, spookiest place I've ever been. There is not another human soul around us 
there's just glassy water for miles. The dead bird in the tree, the massive spider webs everywhere. I'm like, get me out of here. <laughs> We have hope for the first time that we found a campsite here. Clearly some other people have camped here. There's a little fire pit there. There's lots of firewood, there's some beach, it's a little flat. It'll get a great sunset. Just no shade. I have married MacGyver. And he's MacGyvered very well. That's all right. You've MacGyvered enough to get us some shade, hopefully. Or maybe not. Maybe I just jinxed it. All right, this is our camp for the night, guys. And this is the dude. Boop. <laughs> um, pretty, pretty simple. Jerry can, got a fire lighter, tent, and I have to say, a pretty good view out over the lake. That is awesome. Sunset oh. swims. We just worked up a bit of a sweat setting up camp actually because it's still hot as buggery. So time to get in the water. Look at that. It is so beautiful. <laughs> Way! <Whoa. laughs> oh, it's nice. We're being super noisy because even though they're only freshies, they'd still leave a mark if they bit you. We were sitting around the other side of the island and we saw at least eight or nine freshies just hanging out over there. So yeah, we're being a little bit careful. Oh, check that out. What a view. Amazing. Except for the boat's ass in the way. <laughs> <laughs> it's 5 to 5 and sunset is at 5.15. You can see the light starting to change and the water's just like absolute glass out here. So beautiful. The other thing that's happening is the crocs are starting to serve us all around us, which is always fun. Well, that was a sunset for the ages. Oh, that was something special with the glassy lake, the red cliffs and islands mm. around us. Just phenomenal. I can't get over how smooth the water is. It's just crazy. Yeah, it's insane. And it's such nice boating as well. There's no tides, there's no wind. The it's boat's just so sitting busy. there on the beach <laughs> and it's fresh water. So, yeah. you know, we just, I just stuck the bucket in the lake and filled it up for dude and we can wash ourselves in it. And yeah, we've had a couple of swims as baths. Yeah. <laughs> Don't have to flush the outboard. <laughs> so yeah, epic day. We're going to cook a very um, unex unexciting dinner and have a very early night. Yes, indeed. We're having cocktail franks tonight. Yay! Out of a can. <laughs> I'll report back and let you know. I reckon it'll be aces. <laughs> um, and yeah, we'll see what tomorrow brings. Yeah. All right. Cheers. Night. Get in that way, dude. Is that going to work out for you, dude? How are you going to jump up from there, dude? We're going to have to leave you behind. Morning, guys. Morning. We've had our coffee packed up and we're uh, back on the water. Interesting night last night. The wind picked up about 5 30 ish, just as the sun started to set. Yeah. Um, and came from one direction for a few hours and then completely went still again and then swapped directions entirely. Had to go re anchor the boat, all sort of in the dark, which, you know, wasn't super fun, but no. there you go. Jumping in a croc infested waters in the dark, yay. <laughs> uh, so today we're going to go look for a place to go for a bit of a sup. Yeah. 
waiting for the wind to die down a little bit as well for that. Yeah, yeah apparently it sort of glasses off in the afternoons. There's always a bit of breeze in the morning and then it, then it calms down, so. Cruising around this lake is just so interesting. Like, right here, where all these dead trees are, there is essentially an underwater mountaintop and it's, I don't know, maybe a metre deep over there, but you go 10 metres that way and all of a sudden the water is 20 metres deep. So this would have been such an interesting landscape before it was flooded. And it's quite cool to cruise around in the boat and check it all out. One of the things that's so special out here is the colours of the rocks and the little mountain ranges that you see here. Um, it's blowing my mind. Just the range of colours, like the bright greens, the reds, the whites. So the freshies, uh, there's no recorded deaths by them. Um, but they have been known to take a bite out of people by mistake, which is why we're a bit nervous about them. Thank <laughs> you. 